it's Gabby and I'm research in-house beauty blogger. This is a story time video. I've never done one of those before so it's my first. I want to talk a little bit about my background and how I got into makeup and I feel like I have a sort of different story than most people because I went to an all-girls school and I wore a uniform when I was in high school so I didn't learn to do makeup in elementary school which is like super young. I didn't learn to do makeup in middle school. It was never also a pressure really in high school to wear makeup because most girls didn't wear makeup in my school and it's not that it's to say that like oh guys were there so I had to like step up and like put makeup on like no we did mixing boys like schools and girls schools and like even then I wouldn't wear like anything more than like mascara that was the only thing I, I used to own before I was like 16 I always loved makeup I would go to my mom's drawer or my grandma's drawer and stuff but my cousins I have two eldest cousins and they're the actual ones who sort of like taught me a little bit how to use makeup products and how to get into it I started initially copying what they would do. I would ask them to teach me how to do certain types of makeup. I know this sounds <laughs> weird, but when I got to 17 years old, keep in mind I am from Montreal, Canada, and that um, the legal age for going out is 18. So by the time I was, you know, 16, 17, we would go to like parties, sometime, you know, like we'd like sneak in a club and like see how I was inside and stuff. All my girlfriends would uh, come to my house and they didn't own any makeup, they didn't own anything. Like I was the only one, I think, that like my uncles, my aunts, like my parents would give me makeup during Christmas. So I had like some makeup, but not a lot back then. And they would just all line up on my bed and I would do each one of them their makeup and their hair because my cousin showed me and they had no clue what to do so I feel this is how I got really into makeup is because none of my friends knew how to do it and so I would be expected in one night to do like six people in a row and that's why I work sometimes on like film set really efficiently um, because I feel that practicing like on Friday nights or Saturday nights like on multiple people at the same time you go like clock in six people in like less than two hours do hair and makeup all the time choose their like clothes that really you know like sort of like trained me for free because I had to do it well I didn't have to do it but I mean like I wanted to do it for my friends and um, that's how I got into makeup but the funniest thing though is that like still today um, obviously if I'm in front of the camera I'll put makeup on when I go to school I actually don't wear makeup maybe it's me being lazy maybe it's not me not wanting to make the effort but um, I didn't grow up going to school wearing makeup so for me makeup is always like an event or like going somewhere like meeting new people going to an interview obviously if I have like oral presentation to do in class I'll wear like something nice but if I'm just there taking notes I'm like I'd rather sleep than do my makeup because like for me it's not like that big of a deal. I feel like I, there was a turn in my makeup career when I turned about 18. Uh, that is when I got to uh, be a makeup artist professionally, which means when I mean professional is like when I started getting paid. Uh, it does make a difference. It's so different to uh, put makeup on on a client uh, instead of your friend. My friends are my friends and it doesn't matter whereas when you're a professional makeup artist, when you're getting paid for something, you need to make sure that your client's comfortable, that you're always being super safe and I need to be super safe with my friends too, that's not what I mean. But I just, you gotta make sure they're really, really comfortable whereas you don't have to be super so like professional and like strict when you're just hanging out with your friend on a Friday night. That was a turn where I had to learn to you know be more delicate when I would turn someone's face or just like patting gently and these are like small details that I like had to take into consideration if I wanted to be a good makeup artist and make some money of what I uh, of what I'm doing and so then I got to be a makeup artist for some music videos I was makeup artist um, for a uh, films and then it was a second turning point after I started to do makeup professionally where my friends were like hey Gab you really Really, really have cool makeup skills like you do cool makeup looks you should open a YouTube channel and that has been a, such a pressure for me to like open a YouTube channel and stuff that I didn't do it for an entire year um, for I was felt very very uncomfortable to be talking in front of a camera I felt very uncomfortable with my French accent that it's not always perfect when I speak and I thought that people wouldn't enjoy really like watching me or listening to me and stuff instead of that I took photos and post them on Instagram so all my first photos no video no audio no nothing is just make looks that I've done and I have done like a lot and then the third makeup point of my makeup career was um, when I opened my YouTube channel when I finally gained the confidence to open my YouTube channel to speak in front of camera have my accent out there just have my personality and then that date I will remember was February 14 2017 it was Valentine's Day and I did a little makeup look for that 
and I had such good response from the people um, that live with me because I was in residence for Europe University. I had such good response from the people around me who were like so supportive. Um, one of my best friends is into makeup too and she had been like supporting me since day one like when I was like 17 always telling me hey you should like do something out of this and this is why I started my YouTube channel and that's just how I got into makeup online and I started doing makeup tutorials, makeup reviews and just stuff like that and this is pretty much how I got started who knows what's gonna happen next I personally love makeup I always think that makeup is there to enhance what you already have it's never to hide anything um, like who you are and that you're never wearing makeup for other people you're always wearing makeup for yourself to make you feel good to make you feel confident and so I think it's a very empowering thing because like I think of it like almost as fashion because you you know you can like switch your makeup you can switch your clothes you can do stuff like that so I think it's a very creative way of doing like it's a form of art in a way because you're, you can be so creative with it and um, yeah this is these are my thoughts basically on makeup and this is the story of how I got into it please don't forget to subscribe to our channel turn on the notification bell to get more news from us give this video a like if you like my little story of how I got into makeup and please let me know what you think of the video in the comments down below we search is all about finding the perfect products that meets your needs bye